Hi, so I wanted to do a little introduction this time and have a little fun with this video. I'm seeing what I can do. I've got a little setup back behind me. I've got my little warmers. My daughter let me stuff like this to put out. I've got my camper warmer. I forgot the name of this one from Scentsy and the red truck. And I've got a Better Homes and Garden candle going in Sunlit Strawberry Patch. Um, I'm just gonna be doing like more reviews eventually. And of course my phone timed out. Um, sorry, technical difficulties here. Uh, I'm gonna be redoing my office a little bit. I have some more stuff to add to it, like um, another shelf, and I'm gonna make more of a background with that. And eventually we're gonna take everything out and repaint the office because when we move, this is kind of salmon color is what it had and I'm fine with that for right now, but I would like to change that. So I am gonna jump into the July scent, my July Scentsy Club subscription, everything that I got. I just put it all in my wish box thing there. Um, I don't have the paper from this one. I have no idea what I did with it. So I'm gonna start with the sneak peek for next month's scent of the month, which is Vanilla Blackberry. I don't know how well you can actually see that because I'm using an iPhone for this. It's Vanilla Blackberry. Let's see if I can see the description on it. Um, description is bold, fruity, blackberry, draws you in with amber and vanilla. I smell a lot of blackberry not really the amber and definitely vanilla um it kind of reminds me of like a fruit drink or something and that's playing on the floor but we're gonna go ahead and assume it's kind of like a fruit drink Ooh, i made that too big so <clears throat> i do have that one coming if anyone is interested in getting the scent of the month for july i will have that and i can send it to you or you can reach out to me however you want um, or you can get it through my website. Next, we're gonna try the blueberry cheesecake one. Um, last month, they had Bring Back My Bar. Unfortunately, they don't have it anymore. Um, I did, one of the great perks about the subscription is if you put something in here that's discontinuing, they will keep putting that wax bar in your subscription as long as it's there. Um, blueberry cheesecake, thick New York, cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries. This one honestly does smell like blueberry cheesecakes, so that um, is not a problem. I've always been a fan of this one. That is why I am happy to receive it. That actually came in the WIF box, not the subscri subscription itself. But I'm going to do like WIF box mostly at first, but I'll tell you what they're from. I timed out again. I should have actually written this down. Next is Stargazing, which is the July scent of the month. I got this, came in the whiff box itself. I don't know how well you could see that. Hi, I'm, on, I'm videotaping. Could you please? My daughter's come to join us. Next is the Stargazing. Um, usually in my monthly subscription I get the scent of the month two or three of these I only got two this time of the scent circles and one of the spray I get a lot of scent yes and the description is star kiss petals shine through fluffy cotton soft vanilla clouds making me a celestial dream celestial dream come true okay what does this smell like to you I don't smell very much vanilla. It's very faint. I smell cotton. And, and a, no cotton. There's like these little cups at Walmart at the. It's story time now. At the register. They have there's, cotton candy in them. There's a little cup with lid. I was wondering if I can get. We'll think about it. Can I finish this one? 
Yeah, and here's the snack. Thanks, she brought me some cheese. Okay, next is coconut daiquiri, which is also part of my subscription. This is the one that I tried to describe in my other subscription and wasn't able to. Coconut daiquiri, a tropical blend of coconut, banana, and vanilla cream. I don't smell the banana. I do smell coconut milk and vanilla cream. So that one lives up to its name. Next is another one from the Bring Back My Bar in June, which was Jet Set Go, which actually I was supposed to do next, last, but this is a favorite of mine. Balmy Tropical Paradise, a Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. This one smells kind of like, I don't smell the papaya. I do smell the vanilla, I or I don't smell the orange, but I do smell the jungle papaya and island vanilla. It's kind of like a twisted vanilla. I'm trying to think um, of the type that it is, but honeymoon hideaway, which is floral, which is something that I usually so is well, jet set go really isn't that floral, but it's a fresh scent. This one I usually wouldn't go for something like this, but when it was around in 2014. 2015, even I think 2016, it was a favorite of mine. I don't know why. It, you know, the smell of this actually made me go, made me think of my trip to Hawaii in 2014 or 2013. That's probably why I bought it. The description is a secluded retreat of dewy kissed lily, sweet tart kiwi shared by a lush coconut palm. I definitely smell lily and coconut, a tiny, tiny bit of kiwi, but this did remind me, the reason why I got that one was because it reminded me of Hawaii, it is a favorite of mine. When it does come out, I get those ones. Next is Lucky in Love. Um, the description on this I don't think is the same, but I can already tell you this smells just like um, one of those, the... I can't remember the name of it. One of the Victoria's Secret scents. Lucky in Love or Love Struck, one of those. If you can think of it, put it in my comments or I will put it in my comments if I don't remember. And sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with a hint of peaches and berries. To me, it's all peaches, berries, and mandarin, to tell you the truth. But um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but that is what that one smells like. I did forget to get a description for black raspberry vanilla. Let's see. This one does own up to its name. It's black raspberry and vanilla. It is one of the number one fragrances from Scentsy. And that is probably why it's good and it's not overwhelming. Next is Clean Breeze, which this one, it definitely, if you like fresh scents, this would be a good one. It reminds me very much of laundry detergent. It's supposed to, you know, it's got white florals and a little bit of a springy smell to it. Kind of like, not quite a tie, but more like a gain. If you like those fragrances, this would be a good suggestion. Luna Hand Soap, which is Jasmine, Sweet Pea, Berries, and Sandalwood. Normally, it's not something that I am a um, fan of, but I do like this one very much. It's also one of the number one fragrances for Scentsy. Um, I use it a little bit at a time, so I don't overwhelm myself because I usually don't go for florals. Um, this actually has a lot of musk and stuff. This one is Shimmer, which is cherry, apricot, white musk, sponge sugar, and it lives up to its name. It's very sweet. Um, I had a consultant once tell me that they use this like as a bar um, for realtors and stuff, and it helped, you know, it's kind of like what tipped the scale because it smelled so nice in there and it was a nice home. Um, actually, when we bought this home, what told me it was going to be a good place for me was uh, they had a Hoot Scentsy warmer here in the living room, and that's like the first thing I spotted besides its cat. So I know I'm a dweeb, but 
it, it was a very nice house. Very nice showing for this house. Very clean, very nice. Um, anyway, Shimmer Sensi Soap. This is kind of like, um, it does have, what in here? Himalayan, pink Himalayan bath salts. And it helps you relax. And it's really, it, it leaves your skin really soft. It has a lot of moisturizing ingredients in, in, the, in here. Um, when I'm pretty sore or tired or whatever from workout, which obviously I haven't been doing in a while, um, this is always good. So for like 20 to 30 minutes, they say to put like two cups or one cup. I just pour a little bit in there from the package and go, if you want a lot of fragrance or a little bit of fragrance or whatnot, just kind of judge it that way. It doesn't bubble up a whole bunch, but it does work well. It makes you feel good about yourself. And last but not least was Sunkiss Citrus Counter Clean, which this was part of the Whiff Box. Oh my God, I love this stuff. I swear by it. Um, I did get some Lysol and used that for a while when we first moved in, but this is really great at getting stains and getting less stains on my counter. Like this morning, my coffee pot attacked me and this is the way to go. The kind of counter that we have is kind of like a linoleum countertop and it will hold a stain for a while unless you stop it, like put stuff, soak it in something. So here we go. That's why I got Scentsy, the uh, Scentsy Clean. I already have one from a few months ago when I got a, a whiff box, so I was happy to get another one because I'm going to be out soon. And it looks like um, it's the 17th anniversary for Scentsy, and that is what they kind of themed this with. They made little cupcake toppers that you can put on there. You could probably put them on cardboard or on sticks or something. They have those as cutouts. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be making cupcakes anytime soon, but that's going to be what that's for. I'll have to ask my daughter. But anyway, I uh, am going to be working on changing my background up a little bit and taking this cheese back in the other room. Um, I do plan to do future... Um, reviews on candles and scentsy fragrances, fragrance in general, the different things that I'm planning to try anyway, because I have a, a fragrance addiction, I guess you could say. So I believe that is it for today, but ooh, ooh. I would like to thank you for joining me. And if you would like to watch these reviews, please go ahead and subscribe and we will kind of go from there. If you want me to answer any questions or you have questions about my website or anything, just go ahead and comment below and I will try to answer you as I see them. Um, I think my next point of business is going to be reviewing the candle behind me because I'm still kind of wishy-washy on how everything is, but I will be getting back to you soon. Bye.